Fifth grade, lesson 77. This is on converting units of weight and mass. Okay. Now, do you remember me talking to you about the U.S. customary system? Yes. Okay. And how the rest of the world uses the metric system? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, if we were doing the U.S. customary system, okay, they would be things like ounces, which is O, Z. And I usually draw a line right through that so it doesn't look like a two. Okay. O, Z. Um, then there is pounds, which is L, B. Okay. That says pound, mm -hmm. L, B. And then there's things like ton, and that's T, N. Okay. Now, a slice of bread, imagine you holding a slice of bread. It weighs one ounce, okay. just to kind of give you an idea, okay? Um, a shoe weighs about one pound, okay? Okay, and then a small car, maybe like ours out there, is one ton, which is about, write this down, one ton equals 2,000 pounds. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to erase this because we're going to do a chart in just a minute. Now I want to teach you about the metric system real quick. The metric system are things like gram, milligram, and then what else do they use? Kilogram. And let's see some other terms that they use. There's something called a metric ton, okay? Okay. So we have the U.S. customary ton and the U and the metric ton. So every, they both use this word ton, but it actually means a different measurement. Okay. Okay. Now a gram, this would be G, is what they use for to abbreviate gram. Okay. Milligram is mg. Kilogram. Is kg and then a metric ton. Let's see what they use for that one. They just use a T. Okay? Got it? Now, an example of a gram is a paper clip. Okay. Okay? An example of a milligram is the wing of a housefly. <laughs> you can barely feel it at all. Okay. Okay? A kilogram is two shoes. That's about two one, feet. two shoes. Uh, if you were to hold two weight. shoes. Wait, okay. Yep. Do you remember how, how much um, a shoe was in the U.S. customary? Just one shoe. One uh, pound. Okay. So if a kilogram is two shoes, then in U.S. it's two pounds. You get it? Okay, so this is a kilogram, and then um, a small car is about a metric ton, okay? So they use a car on both of them, okay? But let me share, share something with you. Um, did you write down how much a U.S. One ton, ton is? One ton is 2,000 pounds. Okay, in the metric system, okay, in the metric system, a ton is 2,000 pounds. 200 pounds. Metric ton? Uh-huh. So the metric ton is 2,200 pounds. Okay. Okay. Now, write down this chart. That was just a quick little review. Write down this chart. Okay. On one side, you're going to put U.S. Customary system. And then on this side, you can put metric system. I just kind of abbreviated a little bit. U.S. customary system, metric system. U.S. U.S. Metric. Okay, let's write down a few metrics.
measurements that you can use today when you're working on your lesson practices, okay? For example, 16 ounces equals one pound. I made it a capital L so it wouldn't get mixed up with the one. One L-D. 16 ounces is one pound, okay? Okay. 2,000 pounds equals one ton. LBS. That's yep, an that's, L, right? That's pounds, yep. LBS. Equals one ton. One TN. Okay? okay? So the U.S. customary system used TN for ton, and the metric uses T. Okay? All right, now let's look at the metric system. <coughs> A thousand milligrams equals one gram. A thousand? Yeah. These have nothing to do with each other. I'm just showing you some different measurements of the metric system, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. One thousand grams equals one kilogram. Okay. And one thousand kilograms equals one ton in the metric system. One thousand kilograms one ton. Okay. Now these are units of weight. Okay. So if I, well, we've been working in the metric system and they have grams, grams, kilograms, milligrams to weigh things, okay? okay. So we're not doing meters or liters, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're doing weight. So it all has to do with grams. Weight is grams. Okay. Okay. In the U.S. customary system weight, we use ounces, pounds, and tons when we're talking about something someone weighs. So for example, I weigh 130 pounds. Okay. Okay, but if I lived anywhere else other than the United States, I would tell them how much I weigh in grams or kilograms. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. Okay, so this is an example of weight for United States and everywhere else in the world. Okay, and let me share, let me, um, let's do a few problems before we, in this, okay? A large elephant weighs about four tons. About how many pounds does the large elephant weigh? Using your chart, tell me how much in pounds the elephant weighs. Four tons. I'm using U.S. customary. Yes. Right? Until I tell you to use other. Um, okay. 2,000 equals one ton. Yes. 2,000 pounds is one ton. Yep. Okay, he's working it out and doing it just right. What is the final answer? 8,000. 8,000? 8, 8,000 what? Tons. Pounds. I mean pounds. <laughs> Not tons. <laughs> that would be enormous. Okay, so what he did is he said that one ton equals 2,000 pounds, right? Since we're doing four, I'm going to take 2,000 and times it by four. Or you could have went 2,000 plus 2,000 plus 2,000 plus 2,000. Either way, you're going to get the same answer. Mm -hmm. Okay? So four times zero, four times zero, four times zero, four times two, 8,000. That's how you'd get that. Good job. All right, let's try another one. The next one is a watermelon. Now we're gonna use the metric system on this one. A watermelon 
The mass of a watermelon, the weight, remember that's the same word, weight and mass are the same. The, watermel oh, the watermelon's mass was six kilograms. Okay? And then they want to know the mass of a watermelon is how many grams. We know how many kilograms it is, but how many grams? Now, so the two things that we're working with is kilograms and grams. Do you see on your chart a measurement that tells us grams and kilograms? Grams. One K is kilogram, right? Yes, one kg. Okay, a thousand grams of them. Yeah. Okay, so tell me what it is. 1,000 grams is a one kilogram. 1,000 grams equals one kilogram. Okay. So six, Eli, uh -huh. six kilogram equals how many grams? One kilogram equals 1,000 grams. Six kilogram equals... Okay, um... Look again. I, I got it, I got it, I got it. Um, 6,000? Very good. Okay, you did that exactly right, okay? And it's best to put your little um, unit, it's called a unit multiplier, but it's good to just take this one kilogram and tell us what it equals. Yeah. And then whatever they gave us, a watermelon equals, you just put that underneath it so you can see it real good, equals, and then you put a blank on what they're asking. How many grams? Then you can easily tell what it is, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty simple. Okay, let's try another one. Um, 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 um. Oh, now this is a little bit different. It says, which is heavier? A car that weighs a ton or a car that weighs a metric ton? Now look at your notes and something that I told you in the very beginning. How much does a ton weigh? Um, a U.S. ton. 2,000. 2,000. And how much does a metric ton weigh? Uh, 2,200. 2,200. Very good. Okay. So, which one weighs, which one is heavier? The U.S. ton or the metric ton? The metric ton. The metric ton. Okay. By 200 pounds. Which is a little bit of difference. Okay. Alrighty, that is lesson 77.